Welcome back. I'm actually at the computer lab where I have some of the ambassadors. Some of them just actually came out of their exams. And I actually want you to actually meet with Emmanuel. Emmanuel, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine. It's good to see you. And Emmanuel, what are you studying? I'm studying accounting. You're studying accounting, Emmanuel. And I'm told that this week you actually have your exams. Yeah, actually, uh, I'm not yet done yet. Mm. But you're right. And how is it going so far? Well, I uh, give God the glory. It's moving fine. Now, Emmanuel, I met with you. Um, that should be going to two years plus because we actually have two sets of the ambassadors. And I can remember the first time you were in the studio. In fact, the first day we met you, talking about your story about the loss of your dad was actually a very traumatizing thing for you. Now, did you ever imagine that you would actually be here today getting a private education in accounting? Well, I, I never imagined I could actually find myself here, but I actually thank God because then I was nobody, but today um, somebody I'm heading to uh, become a great man in future. That's right, a great man. And how did you feel the first day that check for um, your studies was given to you? Well, actually, uh, that was the greatest day I ever expected in life, a day of my, you know, my happiest day in life. I, I, I at least expect because in my life I never expect someone could do that to me actually when I received that I was so happy and I think I rush I rush my I, 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 my tears rush down out of joy <laughs> out of joy out of joy and right now you'll be graduating I think you're you're in 200 level if I'm not mistaken 300 level. You're at 300 level. Oh my God. Oh my God. And you're going to be graduating with the upcoming set next year. Is that correct? And what are your plans for the future? Well, uh, uh, my plan for the future um, is to actually try to see how I can, I can amend to where our leaders are, where our, 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 govern, our governors, uh, leaders in the country have gone wrong to see how we can I meant there as an accountant, and uh, uh, to God, mandate in my life is to see how I can and also participate in raising other people, raising other uh, orphans just like me to become great in life. It's my target in life for now. I'm so excited, Faith, Faith. You're always smiling, <laughs> Faith. How are you today? And what are you studying, Faith? Development studies. Peace and development studies. Faith, when you came to us, you certainly uh, was someone that didn't communicate peace. Why did you go for that program? Because I, I found you in peace and development studies because the chaos that is going on in this world now, the world really needs peace. And that is what we really need. Even in Nigeria, we need peace as a nation. That's right. And Faith, did you ever expect that you would actually be going through a private um, education? Because I can remember the story when you came to us the first time you were abandoned. And um, did you ever imagine that you would actually be going through a private education and you will be here right now? I've never imagined that. I've never imagined that I'm going to be in private university, such like Salem University. I've never imagined. And I'm so happy to be here. To be here, and how how many more um, um, lecture sessions do you have? You have one more year, just like Emmanuel. You have two more years. And when you finish from Salem University, what are your hopes for the future? My job is to bring peace to the world. I want to work in like big sector like, where I can bring peace to the world and to help other people that you need the less privilege as I'm opportunity to be helped. I want to help others to get to their to get to their destination, like to know their destiny. I'm so happy and I find joy in doing that. That's amazing. Now the first day you received the check coming to Salem University, how did you feel? I can't help but to cry and it's just a tears of joy because I was so shocked when I saw the check. I couldn't imagine somebody giving me such a great opportunity, a big life. Um, I, I just wept and just tears of joy because I never imagined that. That's amazing. 
Now, um, Faith, we have uh, 3,000 orphans right there with their application that are waiting to come to Salem University to have the same opportunity you had. What would you say to them? I just want to tell them to be patient and be prayerful. The God that found me is always there and will help them. They should, they should have confidence in God. They should never lose hope. God is always there for them. And how would you, why should people support Samamaga Foundation? Because Samamaga Foundation is a platform that is out to give orphans the less privilege, a hope, and a future. This is great for somebody like me. And if you help Samamaga Foundation, you're actually helping me. That's right. That's right. God bless you, Faith. Police, now, the first day we met you, did you ever imagine that you actually have an education? I never imagined me having a university education, but coming to Samamaga Foundation, and when I came for the interview, I was just bringing my mind to get that opportunity to study because I, I actually don't have a hope. I don't have hope to go to school anymore because the breadwinner, that is my father, is no more. So I was like, how will I have an education? But Sama Maga Foundation gave me a chance to come into a new university and study. And I'm, ser I'm so happy and I'm so excited. <laughs> how did you feel the day your check was given to you to come to school? Wow, I feel so excited and I feel so privileged to have uh, the check to come to school and study. So I really appreciate that privilege and that rep is a rare privilege that I, I actually had. So I really appreciate that and I always live to cherish that privilege and I will not misuse that privilege for anything. That's amazing. Now, Bulus, there are over 3,000 students, 3,000 applicants waiting to get the same opportunity you got. And the bottom line of Samak Foundation actually is to raise 1 million orphans, to go out there, those that, you, you know the story you went through, the, the crisis that you experienced that resulted to the brutal loss of, of your father. Now, there are 3,000 that are, are in the same situation that have written to us. What would you say to them? Actually, what I would say, what I would tell them is, they should not lose hope. They should keep. Uh, they should. They, they should keep faith. They should walk in faith and believe that that God who who have picked me out of many will single them out from wherever they are, and they'll be given a chance. And I assure them when they have been when they have been given that opportunity, they should not play with it. They should not misuse that opportunity. Because it is a very rare, is a rare privilege. It's not everybody that have a heart of my father <laughs> to <laughs> give us this uh, opportunity. Actually, they should not play with that opportunity for anything in the world. It's actually something that once they have, they should hold on to it and they should make use of it. Now, Bulus, can you tell our viewers why should people support Samamaga Foundation? I want to tell the people that Samamaga Foundation is real, it's not fake or anything. Uh, the first time I got the scholarship, many people were like, are you sure this is real or is a kind of uh, thing that people usually get and just, just uh, or is fake or anything? I was like, actually, I... Never believe as in, but now it's real. I just want to tell them it is real. Once they invest in it, they will never regret it. And the Bible said that uh, he who cares for the orphan and the less privileged, he will be blessed. That person is blessed. So when he, uh, anybody out there invest in this uh, foundation, he will be blessed. Whatsoever is it a business or career, whatsoever you're doing. God will actually bless and increase you. So actually, it's a program that anybody, everybody is supposed to participate in order to encourage that to the next level, I mean, to, the, to a greater level. Yeah. 
Bulus, I just appreciate you for your kind words. I actually have an actor here. Um, they, they call him an actor. He's, he's someone that is so full of life, full of personality, full of joy. And the harshness of life was going to take that away. I, I'm actually proud to introduce to you Nash. Nash, how are you? I'm fine. And what program are you studying, Nash? Accounting. You're studying accounting. Nash, the first time we met you three years ago, I can remember a very calm, quiet, you know, um, introverted person. And you would actually think he's someone that could not speak. And lo and behold, the person that he has emerged to be here on the campus is someone that is affecting the lives of so many students. Now, Nash, from the time you met us in the studio, did you ever believe you would actually be going through a private education? No, not at all. I never imagined that even if my dad were to be alive, I know it wouldn't be a private university like Salem. So I'm so very grateful that God has given me this platform to actually come to a university like this one. And Nash, what do you want to do with accounting? Hmm. Uh, I would want to work setting up organizations, not really working for someone because um, I'm an entrepreneur. I have so many handworks, so I'm really learning or coming to school to just get the knowledge. And if I don't venture into the military aspect, go for <laughs> or maybe oil company or a lecture, or perhaps I'll be a replica of my father. A replica of your father in ministry. What an awesome thing to say. Now, there are over 3,000 orphans out there that have written to us, hearing your story, and want us to actually give them the same opportunity that we've given to you. What would you say to them? <sighs> I would tell them that um, God has not forgotten them. He created everyone, so he knows about them, and he knows what they're passing through. It's just for a reason, and once a time is due, God will open the way. There's always light at the end of the tunnel. So they shouldn't lose hope because that's what will keep them going. And for the present circumstance, it's not going to determine their future. And how did you feel the day that Archbishop Sam Maga gave you the check to come to Salem University to study accounting? I was, I was, I was so very happy. As in, I can't just quantify how I felt. It's just like someone just tearing up my heart and just checking it and then <laughs> can't quantify. <laughs> can't quantify. I like that example. And now you're going to be graduating next year. Why should our viewers listen to you? Why should someone out there support Samamaga Foundation? If you're supporting Samamaga Foundation, you're actually supporting me. And if you've supported me, that means you're aiding someone's support. Because once I'm outside, out, out of here, I start working, I'm earning, I will definitely put in my own resource to this foundation also so that I could see that other orphans will pass through this um, scheme. Yeah. I'm so proud of you. Thank you for giving to the Lord. I have a life that was changed. So glad you came. Thank you for giving to the Lord. I am a life that was changed. Thank you for giving to the Lord. I am so